Alright, good morning guys. I'm on my way back to that first company I handle a unit. I got the A coil and the pan. He wants to just change that out. I uh, posted a video on that, I don't know, last week. I wanted to change the whole unit, but he doesn't have the money, so he's gonna just change the coil and the pan. Get it back up and running. Try to catch some video as long as he's not really down on top of me watching me i'll be able to record it um the outside condenser units are basically just goodman units so we'll just pump the charge back into the condenser um pull the coil out switch it out pull a vacuum on it recharge it's a little chilly this morning it's probably only about 45 degrees right now so it's gonna warm up till probably 65 today. Well, I got plenty to do. I gotta climb up in the attic there and do my thing. Good morning. Back up here at this first company unit. There's a new pan and a new coil going in. So let me take this thing apart and get started here. I already pumped out back the refrigerant into the lines. Into the condensing unit. Thank God I didn't have to change this fucker. Rust. Look at this. Probably kinked and somebody tried to straighten it out with flyers. side of the house. They ran half inch OD. Seven eighths. I reduced it down. Seven eighths to three quarter. Half inch to three eighths. Yeah, that's a little rusty but you don't want to change it. I'm just doing the coil and the pan. That's it. It will work. Well, that's the deal. I got the new pan here. Brand new. And a new coil going in. <coughs> Unbelievable. I'm surprised that's not leaking. Given us now, there's no more metal ones for the 50 pounders. There's these plastic ones, they're pretty light, kind of cool. So I'll pump it down.
just fell apart. Yanking on it. Look at that shit. Yeehaw. Well, got the new one. No pan there. There's the old coil. It won't look too bad and it won't look too dirty inside. Coil in here, new pan. Basically, it's just little clips that just snap on to hold it in. I use the old one and I put another one on here, so that's it. It's pretty secure in there. Let's step back and take a look. Not look bad. It'll be fine. I'm gonna get this door on. Get my stuff dry fitted. And I'll put my nitrogen purge on before I breathe. Fifteen percent silver solder. So what I got here is all a bag of all different size pistons, orifices. I got all kinds here. And basically, um, sometimes I'll change these if my head pressure is low or if I'm flooding back. I'll, uh, you know, change the piston to get me what the results I want for my superheat and my head pressure and whatnot. And I remember being back here a couple of years ago, I had changed the piston. So I got to grab that little wire from one of these bags to get the old piston to switch it. It's got a 70 in there, and I'm going to run an 80. See that little wire? Help me get that piston that's upstairs out. I need to grab this wire. All right. I got it all piped off. A short piece, 3 8 by half coupling. And I got a half inch by three, a 3 quarter. 3 quarter uh, right into the swedge there. And 3 quarter by 7 eighths. And this is the piece that was in here before. I don't know if you can see it. It was all flat. Somebody took pliers and tried to straighten it out. It was a kink. Ridiculous. So while I was here, I cut that out. Get it out of there. <clears throat> I'm going to go put my nitrogen on a, on outside and run it slowly and come back and breathe this. Check out this little MC tank. Little MC tank with a little turbo, turbo torch tip. I don't put different size tips, but this is great coming up in attics. Yeah, get the light better over here. Little MC tank turbo setup. Settling turbo. I got different size tips. You can tell this is an MC. You can tell this is a settling propane. It's got two stripes. The regular LP propane, which a lot of plumbers will use, has one stripe. That's the difference. And this is a small tip. I got a bigger one, but this thing will probably be fine. I'm gonna grab another size. But I bet you Fritz would get a kick out of this because it's a little tiny one, the little MC tank. I found this at a swap meet. The guy paid 15 bucks for it. It's in good shape. All right, so I got my set up here. And my little small regulator. suction side going up through the unit and then coming back I got this loose here and so I got the nitrogen going up through upstairs and I got my vacuum set up here half inch appian hoses get the shaders removed
700 microns and dropping. Man, this thing's kicking ass. Five hundred microns. Wow. That's probably like maybe two that's probably like three minutes, if that. And this line set goes all the way up and then all the way along the house, the long run. Three hundred and fifty Three hundred and thirty microns and dropping. Basically going through these half inch half beyond hoses. My pump. Put a half by three quarter reducer right on it. Man, this thing is cat's ass. Put the shaders out. Probably like three minutes. Pull it right down. Two hundred and seventy and dropping. I'm gonna go do some work upstairs and let this thing run. I ain't the corner seat and whatnot. All right, one hundred and sixty-four microns. I'm thinking that's good. <sighs> Alright, opened up my suction side for us. Street is in next. All right, guys. My suction line's coming back at 51. I'm 30 here, so that's 20, 20, 21 degrees of heat. That's good. Temperature two on this would be my uh, sub cool. 99. Basically, I'm 109 here. So that's 10 degrees. 109. That's basically 10 degrees sub -cool. So remember I had run the, the seven number 70 piston was what came in it. I put an 80 in there a couple of years ago. That's why, because the 70 wasn't working right. It was taking too long. Head pressure, I had to really get the head pressure up. So sometimes by changing the piston you can make the adjustments on the unit outside. That's what I found over, over the years working on this stuff. So. I put the new shaders in, put the old shaders out. No sense of putting them back. But this thing wasn't good. I'm gonna have to come back for a clean on this down the bottom. But this is a price job. This guy wanted a price price, but he, needs, he really needs service on both of these units. Clean them good. Goodman's, 10 Sia, probably 25, 20, 25 year old units, but still working, so.
have a good day guys